number one reason that most people don't get results is because you are not using the right information. The number two reason is you don't know how to use that information, right? You need to know, number one, what you're looking at, how to analyze it, how to identify inaccuracies and violations, and then what to do with them. How do I write that letter? How do I utilize these things that I found, right? Because you can have the date last active, but if you don't know what you're talking about, then it doesn't matter. What about the notice of dispute? What about the first day of delinquency? What about the date last reporting? Okay, if you don't know how to use these things, then you're kind of putting yourself in another position to just get verified. We have these laws and you have to know how to utilize these laws. You can't just say, well, pursuant to this, you're required to do that. And so because you didn't, now you have to. No, we need to know how to force the bureaus and the creditors and the collectors to do certain things based on the laws that we are dealing with. And there's a very specific way to go about it because if it were as simple as just saying, hey, you did X, Y, Z and because this law exists, now you instantly have to remove this from the credit report. Why did it go on there to begin with? Why did they violate if they knew that all you had to do was say X or Y or Z? They wouldn't have, right? This is not a simple process. And if you go into this believing these lies and the, you know, these sales gimmicks about, oh, this is so easy, then all you're doing is digging yourself a hole and you are trapping yourself. And each and every single time you go and you try to find these loopholes and all that kind of stuff, you're just putting yourself further and further behind and you're gonna end up boxing yourself in, okay? And Instead, why don't we have a realistic outlook on this?